Alright, so I've been playing a lot of Morrowind recently, and I wanted to do a tutorial showing how to make the uh, little item list here pop up whenever you go over an object because it was a little more complicated than I originally thought, but it's a very nice effect, so we'll get right into it. You'll notice we do have a script on this camera holder, but that is just pivoting this thing up and down so we can move around and look around in the scene. That really has nothing to do with the actual raycast right here. And the raycast is what's doing the work in this. So when our raycast hits an object, we're going to call get collider and that'll get the object we collided with. We can then call functions on that object, which is what we're doing. We're going to call a function on this bottle to display its label whenever our raycast is hitting it because it's more efficient than just uh, having every object wait for something. We're having the player be the thing interacting with it. So before we get into the code of the actual raycast, let's just look at the bottle scene very quickly. So we have our bottle, which is actually an area, and uh, we have the sprite uh, 3D, which is popping up and hiding. Uh, so the sprite 3D is just displaying a viewport that we have created here, which has a texture rect and a label. If you don't know how to do this, just type in uh, Godot 3D health bars and there's tons of tutorials that show you how to set this up. Welcome back to Godot Recipes. Um, and then the next thing is uh, we have a collision shape which I just made out of the mesh by saying, you know, uh, mesh create tri mesh static body. So nothing really crazy there. We actually don't need this. I don't know why it's here. Uh, but then we have our script up here, which is very simple. It just displays our label and then hides our label. And all we're doing is setting the sprite visible and uh, uh, to true or false and we're also just printing some stuff there uh, you also see that we added it to the group item uh, make sure to add it to the group because that's we're going to check it with our collisions so going into our player scene this is what allows us to do interactions we also have some other stuff uh, a movement and input but that's really not needed for this tutorial that's just moving around um, this is our main scene right here so we have a current collider let me open it up a little bit. We have our current collider, our previous collider, and our incoming collider. And this is our raycast right here. So if our raycast is colliding, then we're going to take our incoming collider. Uh, then we're going to say the incoming collider is equal to what we are colliding with. And then if our incoming collider is not equal to the current one, we will set the previous equal to the current and the current equal to the incoming. And then if it is in the group uh, item, we will then set the, uh, we'll then call the display label function on the current collider that we have just updated. So it's basically like a state machine, uh, except for incoming objects. And then, so if we're not colliding, we need to reset this so that we're not, um, so that we know the next incoming collider is nothing, that we're not colliding with anything. And that way our, current collider and incoming collider will be different and there'll be a switch in our state. So uh, if we're not colliding and we have a current collider, meaning we are just, we're basically on the bottle and we're moving off the bottle. Uh, if the current collider that we just came from is in the group item, we're going to say current collider dot hide label. So that's how we're sending the signal saying, all right, we're leaving your area. You need to hide your label. And then we're also going to set the current collider equal to null because we're not hitting anything anymore. And so this running all together will allow us to uh, go on and off the bottle, display, pop up, and uh, have the pop up leave too. So seems a little complicated, but once you like understand what you're doing, it's not that bad. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, I'm doing more in the Morrowind vein. Uh, I'll probably do some modeling tutorials and animation, and I'm probably gonna make a whole Morrowind-like scene. Uh, you can see some of the stuff I've been doing here. Uh, a little retarded, but pretty cool, so. Uh, yeah, if you want more like that, please make sure to check out my channel. I am the Average Godot Enjoyer, and uh, yeah, have a great day.